Right now in Harrisburg, we've been there for almost seven weeks. We have a new governor, a Republican. We have a new legislature, Republican. We have moved two bills out of committee in the Senate. Two bills. One is the anti-abortion bill, and one is an anti-immigration bill. That's what we have done. That's what your legislature, where I go every day, where we do for seven weeks. Is that what you want? No! And is that Today of all days, we all stand together. We are all Planned Parenthood. Because even though all of our reproductive right providers are under attack, there are efforts to destroy Planned Parenthood. And this organization, for decades and decades, lay their lives on the ground to protect women's rights. They went to jail for us. We cannot let the attacks on them continue. So let me say again, we, we will, will not, not go back. back. We will not go back. to fund family planning for poor women. Budget cuts and blocking health reform will put the health of women and families in jeopardy. These cuts are short-sighted. They hide the long-term economic and social costs. They will create in chronic health conditions, unreimbursed emergency care, maternal and infant complications and deaths, low educational achievements, and lost jobs during this fragile economic recovery. Invest in our families by protecting health reform and the programs that create a bridge to it in 2014. Planned Parenthood is one of those places where we feel comfortable in going to seek quality health care. It's not only Planned Parenthood when you look at maternal and child health services, community health services. It is a bigger issue. Let us join together and what is that? What are we saying? We won't turn back. We won't go back. Thank you. I want to say something else about the war on women which is going on in Harrisburg on the and in the D.C. area with Congress. I don't face it. You think that has nothing to do with women? More than half of the adults who are served by adult basic are women. This is another attack. It doesn't look like it, but this is another attack on women, and we can't stand for it. We cannot stand for it. This is programs that we've adopted because because of inequities in the job market women are much less likely and the children are much less likely to have decent health care than men are. So the program we adopted almost a year ago, March 23rd, is going to dramatically benefit women and this attack is not just an attack on programs that specifically benefit women but on health care in general. There's an amendment to the continuing resolution that's going to be voted on today and it's most likely going to pass the House of Representatives today that will cut off funding for implementation of the Affordable Care Act. And that means the Republicans don't care about the hundred the million businesses in this country that are getting tax credits to provide health care, many of them for women. They don't care about the seniors who are getting low-cost prescription drugs. Many of them are women. They do not care about the protections against insurance company abuses. 
some of which have already gone into effect, that we will lose if we can't implement that law. And in Harrisburg, they've shown they don't care about adult basic, which ensures 42,000 people, the vast majority of them women. So this is an attack on health care in general, and that means it's a specifically an attack on women. Well, well, well.